Hey, boo. Hey, we are getting it in here with another message here with me, Duchess. I hope that you are doing good, feeling good and ready for the message we got coming up here in store. Please remember, this is a general collective message, baby. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't behind for whoever is for. And let's get, get, get into it here. So I clearly heard here to pull all the oracles because there's going to be a clear message for me so i'm pull three of these and three out of another deck and then we'll go from there and pull out the tarot cards here and figure out exactly here what it is that you need to know right now also make sure you check out the link below to join me for a three-day weekend retreat the tarot slumber party you get to zen out relax rejuvenate plus you get to heal with me have a good time eat good food drink good drinks one-on-one -on -one meditations one-on-one -on -one crystal healing it's a hell of a good time check it out boo check it out boo i'd love to have you now let's see what the message here is so we got the rainbow reviver card okay this one wants to come oh we got the dating card okay now give us another one here what's happening we got here the sacred woman card so we're gonna pull three from this deck so we can get the complete message because i like to follow directions honey okay when i get word of what i need to do i like to do it let's see here oh we got the witness card all right all right we got the rebellion card here and we got the reasoning card okay i love this message so what's happening here is you're about to have a revival here in your love life something in your love life is reviving here where it's about to be a lot more sacred a lot more exciting i said sacred but i'm going to say exciting okay it's because i was i was jumping ahead i'll be talking too fast sometimes all right but ultimately your love life is really about to get its revive okay it's about to be reviving i keep wanting to use the word revival but i feel like that's supposed to be like a church thing but anyways here your love life is about to be revived honey okay so if you haven't been in connection, if you've been bored, if you feel like your love life got cobwebs, or if you've been in a connection, but hey, you still feel like you've been bored, or like your love life has all these cobwebs, baby, I'm here to tell you that that is coming to an end because there's things that are about to change and shift because your love life is reviving here. And what's reviving here is the 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 fun part, the dating, the excitement, the getting close to someone. And so this could be in a new connection or a season connection because I know I've been married before. These season connections can get boring sometimes when nobody wants to put in the work or the energy or the effort. But if that's what's been going on, I'm here to tell you things are about to change, okay? We're about to kick it up a notch. We're about to step it up a notch, right? And this is because you are knowing your deservingness. So with the sacred woman energy, this is just energy saying here that you've decided here that you deserve this. Okay, so if you've been sitting at home and not going out and not accepting dates and not even opening yourself to it, that's changing because you're realizing that you deserve it. If you've been sitting back and just letting your partner be lazy, you've been lazy in a relationship, we ain't doing that no more. Okay, you're starting to realize, well, I do deserve to have some enjoyment, some fun. I do deserve to have that bonding time here, that time for us to really just be intimate, connect, understand one another. Okay, so it seems like here that you're realizing that you can really get what you want and this is what you're opening yourself up to okay now there's another part to this that's coming out so apparently it looks like you are getting into this mode of rebelling against the norms okay rebelling against other people's advice, thoughts, rebelling against your own overthinking, things that hold you back here from truly deserving when it comes to your love life, right? So say for instance, like one thing that we always over rebel in, nobody wants to look thirsty these days. I just saw that on in a group I'm in earlier. Everybody's scared to look thirsty, so everybody's sitting at home looking lonely, okay? Looking crazy, sitting there and they lonesome, and it's because nobody even wants to talk to nobody. They don't want to reach out. They don't want to, you know, communicate. No, we're not doing that, okay? So it's like there's something here that you're rebelling against that's opening up your heart here so that you can have these positive interactions when it comes to your love life and your dating life. Now let's go ahead and pull out the tarot so we can continue to dig deep into this. What's going on here for the collective? Give us insight. So we got here the Nine of Swords. We got here the Ace of Cups. Okay. We got here the Six of Wands. Yep. Mm-hmm. 
we got here the eight of wands and the two of swords i love it so yeah there's been some stuck energy when it comes to your love life to you opening up your heart space and this comes from a lot of anxiety stress overthinking so this also could be out here for some of you you've always been you know f at least recently or maybe always for some of you you've been choosing connections that make you more stress than happy baby okay you've been choosing to be more stressed or allowing connections to develop in a way that's more stressful instead of happy and so there's something here where you're opening up your heart space and you're allowing yourself to receive the right attention, the right love, the right adoration. You're moving past stuck energies. You're moving away. I love the way this image is because this two of swords would be the stuck energies. This is you successfully working towards your heart space, opening up. And this is you going towards that eight of wands. We go in this direction, baby. Okay. Away from the stuck energy and more towards that energy of me getting what I deserve here when it comes to my interactions, my love life, and all of that. Tell us more here. Tell us more. We got here the Queen of Wands. We got the Two of Cups. Look at that, baby. Look at that. We got here the Four of Cups and the Page of Cups. So it looks like here that there's offerings coming in that you might not see. Or you could have been very discontent with offerings that you've gotten in the past, but you're finally about to get an offering that you really desire or you're looking forward to. With this Queen of Wands energy here, it could be a fire sign, Leo, Sag, Aries. But I'm also really taking this here as the energy of being passionate about love again and having this desire here for deep connection for love for unity okay having i'm here and spicing it up okay you ready to add that spice in your life like the spice girls used to do back in the 90s baby okay you are ready to add some spice in your life here and you're ready to take those offerings that you weren't really paying attention to before you don't see here there's some sort of offering that's waiting for you that's really going to be exciting. So if you're in some sort of good connection, right, then maybe this person is planning something or maybe you see something. Maybe it's a couple's trip or something, okay? Maybe you're coming to the slumber party together as a couple. Hey, okay? Anyways, look, there's this element here just of this energy of... You open yourself here to new experiences when it comes to love. Feeling young, lighthearted. Trying new things, not having all these rules and regulations. That's another thing that happens with overthinking. And you know, we, in matter of fact, that reminds me of this stupid list stuff that's been going around online. Everybody, all these rules and regulations. Oh, I don't go to Cheesecake Factory. Oh, I don't, well, I don't agree with Netflix and then chilling either. But I know specific men is that it, I know men that don't like taking women out on dates because they getting tired of women leeching up dates and then ghosting them. You get what I'm saying? So and then the men has been looked at as crazy and they being looked at as cheap and this this and that and just wanting sex and netflix is in chills and then on the other end you know it's just a hot mess okay so there's something here where i guess you maybe been over analyzing and looking at the dating pool is a hot mess your relationship is a hot mess but you're finally opening yourself up to move past that and look at the opportunities here for real growth and real understanding and to build real love and unity here and it does involve having a good time that's always good right but i feel like this is most importantly talking about getting on that same page, being in agreement as to what this looks like. Okay. Because it's like, if one person is happy without the other, this is not, it's, it's not good. That's what love and relationships is about is compromise. And that's what people seem to forget these days. Everybody got demands, but nobody's ready to compromise. Okay. Every woman wants to, every woman wants to go to a five-star restaurant. Every man wants easy access. I don't know what's going on these days. Everybody wants something easy, but no, no, and no. It's like you getting it together here. So you're going to be attracting someone else that's got it together. And y'all going to have it together. Together. I like this. Yes. Yes. Y'all got it together, baby. You got it together here. Okay. You're on the same page. Yes. Justice. What did I just say? You're on the same page. It's going to feel balanced. It's going to feel, I'm hearing harmonious. Yes. Okay. Um, it's just going to be very, very good here. And you're about to receive a lot of love, a lot of affections, a lot, okay? A lot of happy, happy, positive emotional energy here with this person. And I love here, this King of Cups represents someone whose heart is full of love, even if they haven't been able to express it, right? So it's like someone has these deep expressions of love here for you, okay? There could also be water signs involved, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. I'm a water sign. Hey, Scorpios. Hey, okay. But anyways, at the end of the day here, there's this element of 
things coming into balance, working towards that happy ending, working towards that unity, reviving the connection or bringing connection into your life, reviving your love life. Your love life is being revived, honey. Yes, this is the time. This is your time. You're going to be skipping. You're going to be dancing in the rain, I'm hearing, okay? Yes, seven of wands. This is something that you've really fought for, and now things are finally about to change, and things are finally moving forward, moving forward. There's major shifts happening. So if you feel like it's been boring, if you feel like it's been dull, okay, just know that the offerings are coming in, okay? You're going to feel like you're being swept off your feet when it comes to love and romance. And it's like there's a whole new energy surrounding you. So it's something that you're definitely going to feel blessed to be part of or to receive. And something that you're going to be excited to continue to um, grow in and build on times a million. I love to see you down at the Tarot Slumber Party with me, the three-day weekend retreat. Check out the link below. We're in Orlando here this time. All right, boo. Sending you love, light, and blessings. Check out my website. It's all types of goodies on there. You don't want to miss, all right? Like, share, comment, subscribe. That all brings so much love and positive energy my way. And I love donations, stars. It's all greatly appreciated. Sending you love, light, and blessings. Bye.